What's up guys, Cludier Hacker. Today I'm going to be showing you those that are interested in Windows 8, there are many ways to customize it. To start off, one thing that I've always found missing in Windows 8 is the ability to change your background to anything you want under Metro. Well, there is a solution for this, although it does cost $5, and you can try a trial version of it, which is interesting because I, it told me it had 30 days, but it just keeps saying it has 30 days every day it passes, so I don't know what that means, but I do know that you can get this application temporarily for 30 days and be able to use it. Basically what it allows you to do is it changes the background of Metro to whatever you like, whereas Metro under Windows 8 or Modern UI, it's really called, does not allow you to change your background to anything you like. It only gives you a selected options of whatever they choose, which I think should change. So let's go ahead and prove that this works, and I will include the download link below. We're going to hit start. And as you can see already, I have a customized wallpaper behind Metro. And this program is actually called Decorate. It allows you to load custom images onto your computer. So you can have this, you can have this, you can have this, and you pretty much get the point. Actually, let's choose a pretty cool one here. I like that one. What's really cool about it is that automatically it changes the color of what will match best based off of the picture that you choose no matter what. And what's really cool is you can change the amount of rows the titles uh, will be. And you can change the lock screen which is kind of standard. But you can choose the fade in, the blur, the specific colors, which is quite nice for the sidebar, the contrast. Obviously, this is probably only available in the paid version, but it will allow you, again, to choose your own custom background, which I think is cool. Now, one thing that's really cool is that it'll match it to the desktop wallpaper. It can't, it can just, you can choose a file or a folder to get your applications. You can also choose how long the wallpaper will change, so you can have it change your wallpaper every so often to basically get you a another picture so it's kinda cool it'll switch on you so you hit the Windows key and as you can see if I go to the desktop here and close this program it adds my wallpaper in it's pretty cool so that is one way to customize Windows 8 with the background now for those of you who complain about Windows 8 chances are I already know about this however for those who don't you can add the start menu back to Windows 8 using third-party applications. The easiest and free way to do this would be getting something like Classic Shell. And with Classic Shell, it adds the start menu back, as you can see. So let's go ahead and launch Classic Shell. Uh, it's a standard installation. You can learn how to do it basically by going to the website. I will include the link. So as you can see here, it adds the start menu back on. And if I click on start, I can search my programs, my apps, and get out of that. And yeah, so as you can see, you got your start screen. You can go into your apps, and these are specifically Metro apps, or you could go into your programs, such as Putty or whatever, and search your programs. Let's see if I can search uh, documents, because I'm not sure if you can. So let's see, 1-2-3, uh, nope. But with this free version, it does allow you to search for programs. So if I search for something like FUBAR 2000, it will launch as you hit enter. Now this is a free version of this app. They don't offer a paid version. However, there are alternative third-party vendors out there, for example, that make a little bit better start menu. The company that I use for decorate which is in the link it actually does cost five dollars but they offer something called start eight and with start eight you can actually do a lot more it will allow you to search within your folders your programs and it even allows you to switch between a Windows 8 style start menu which will allow you to have arrow um, not arrow but modern UI and be able to search with your Metro apps. So it is kind of cool. I definitely would recommend 
if you have the five bucks to get it. It is really, really cool. I, I definitely like the software. I do have the paid version. I haven't installed it on this copy of Windows 8, but it is worth it. So, you can add your start menu back on there. You can even customize the look and feel with the classic shell. And you can change the buttons. But what's really cool to customize Windows 8 is actually what's available on a lot of systems, not just Windows 8. This program is actually called Rain Meter. And as you can see right here, I have it partially open. Do you guys remember the gadgets that were first started in Windows Vista and then brought over to Windows 7 and then they actually stopped gadgets? Well, gadgets are a security risk, if you didn't know, and they that's why they removed them. They found a major hole in the system and people were able to hack into somebody else's system using gadgets. So, there has to be an alternative to gadgets. Well, there's a really cool alternative to gadgets. It's called Rain Meter. Again, the link will be in the description for you to download. You can go to third-party sites and get some Rain Meter skins, but these skins do everything from weather to Twitter. So if we go ahead and launch the weather here, we'll do the zero day, hit load. And as you can see, it shows the weather for my area. It could even do something like a eight day forecast. If we hit load, it'll change it to eight days. And as you can see right here. So that's very cool. Let's actually change it to just back to, let's do maybe even a five day forecast. As you can see, it will snap to specific areas if you're holding it with your mouse a certain way. So one thing that's also really cool about this is they have an app here called, I believe it's called Circular. And if I put this in the center here, it's not really an app, it's a gadget. It will allow you to choose from your programs up there. And once you click them, it will open it up. Now, with this current version, I'm having a little bit of an issue with it because it's not launching it, but it should work fine for you, and I'm curious to see if that circular works. So definitely take a look at that. There's also some really cool ones here. Let's go back into Rain Meter. Hit Manage. Hopefully it'll load. There we go. We can also choose a calculator, which is pretty much standard here. We'll go ahead and drag this here. And as you can see, you have the calculator functions. 8 times 8. And we can do the square root here by just simply multiplying it by 0.5 or dividing it by 0.5, really. Shows you how well I'm good at math. 5 anyways it should work but for some reason it's not in this case 64 divided by 0.5 equals 120 there you go actually that's not even the square root 64 times 0.5 anyways you get the point it's a calculator it might not work for the best but it, it does exist so there's other things you can choose such as specific skins for the clock. So this is a pretty cool one. And you can change the transparency, which is really cool. I'd do something more like, let's do 70%, so it's very transparent. And when you hover over it, it will become less transparent, or not even transparent at all. So you can also do CPU, which I find cool, so you can take a look at the average CPU. In this case, I'm using quite a bit because I'm using the recorder. You can even have a music controller, which is another thing that's kind of cool. Now, bear in mind, not everything works in here. Like I said, we had an issue with this. But you get the point. At least it's available, and you even have a taskbar right here, which you can edit and add programs to. You can look at the Wi-Fi, in which case I don't have it. They even have a Twitter, which I'm not sure if it's working 100%. Again, bear in mind that it's better than nothing as far as your desktop you even have a dock which you can look at my how to add Mac dock to PC and get something better but again monitoring CPU hard drive disk but the CPU here it's pretty nice though the size is rather small 
but as you can see, you get the point. And let's go ahead and unload a bunch of this. Well, just right click on it. Should and hit unload skin. We don't need that. Unload the skin. Unload skin. I'll keep that. Probably keep the time. We'll even keep that. We we'll even keep that. So there was one last thing I'd like to show you guys before we end this video. And as you can see, I have no icons on the desktop right now. We'll even unload that. Or just put it off to the side. There is a program out there that allows you to organize your icons. And it's not just in a dock, it's something in something called a fence. Something in something called. Anyways, as you can see, as I double click, it groups the icons together in a transparent box. Like a fence. And as you can see here, I can select the programs that I like, like for example, Windowsstat. And it'll open it up just like you would. This is programs. And let's say I want to create another fence. Well, I can just simply right click on an area, maybe even like this, create fence from these icons. And I can type in the title for it. We'll call it MISC or even little. And as you can see, I can even change resize it. And it creates the icons again. They are starting to charge more for this stuff. It is made by Starduck, and it used to be free. However, it does, they're trying to make more money off of it. So I think it is $10. But again, the link will be in the description. Take a look here. Learn more. Yeah, $10. But it allows you to really organize your desktop. So you can have office shortcuts. One thing I wish this was in, and I'm not sure if it is in, but I wish it was in a MSI file so you could deploy this to computers if you pay for a license for this thing. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video on how to customize Windows 8. I will be doing a little bit more videos on customization, more specifics. However, this is a great way to start your customization of Windows 8. And yeah, so thanks again for watching my videos. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. Actually, give me a thumbs up. Rating's long gone. So thanks again.